Speakers, yeah. Most of the time they're literally just speakers that have got like a bit of cloth in front of them or something like that. Well, this one's a little different. If you've seen on the thumbnail, then yeah, you're right. It's, uh, it's got springs on it. You may not hear this, but when I'm talking in my ears, I can actually hear the springs kind of replying to my voice as they're vibrating. So, woo! It's like one of those uh, toy microphones with a spring in it, and you're like, yeah, I'm in Wembley Stadium. Yeah, oh, the crowd are going crazy. But really, uh, it's just a spring thing. This is basically the same, but instead of a microphone, it's a lovely speaker. It was given to me at my show last week in uh, Bergerac uh, by a kind fellow called Ben De Geek, who does some pretty, pretty damn slamming artwork. Yeah, you just check it out. Oh, look at that. That's that's beautiful. Funnily enough, he wasn't allowed to take this into the gig. They thought uh, it looked a bit dodgy. And yeah, I could kind of see why. I could kind of see why. So it sort of reminds me of the uh, accessory add-on speakers that came uh, with the On Day Martinot. I'm not sure how to actually pronounce that, so here's it written underneath. Basically, this was quite a revolutionary musical instrument, but it came with like um, optional speaker add-ons. And these speakers were kind of strange. One of them actually was like a, a weird gong. Yeah, it was pretty funky. The other one had like uh, tuned strings in front of the speaker to make it like, um, I don't know, resonate in a strange way. Well, this is uh, sort of the same principle, but instead of all of that, it's just got springs on the front. I have not seen one before. Uh, I'm sure they are very common everywhere and every single car in the 1920s had one of these obviously to make it sound like you're playing at Wembley Yeah, yeah, maybe not the age of this. I have no idea um, uh, I hope somebody can recognize this it might even be DIY I'm not sure it's very hard to tell because it's from an era where things that were made all looked DIY Anyway, the back of it says Dax Echo or Dax France. Probably not supposed to pronounce the X. I don't know, Those are li that's literally all the writing on this. Uh, there's no date, there's nothing. I don't know, it might have come from an organ or a musical instrument. It's just very hard to tell. I mean, it's literally just got a wire hanging off it. <sighs> you can see at the bottom, there's actually a fatter spring and I guess that holds the rest of the springs kind of taut and then these are slightly thinner and I guess these do the reverb job. But yeah, there's not actually that much to talk about it. Except it sounds pretty funky when you talk free. Yeah. Oh, look at that, look at that. Ooh. Beautiful. So um, I guess without further ado, let's just uh, see what it sounds like. I'm actually doing this video today because lo and behold, I don't actually have a speaker hi-fi amplifier. I always manage to uh, modify them or break them. So today I've been making a pretty funky membrane speaker uh, that kind of visualizes lasers uh, for, my, uh, for my girlfriend. And with that, she has this lovely uh, hi-fi amplifier. So I'm gonna use this today and hopefully not break it or I'll be in a lot of trouble. Let's blow out them cobwebs first with a sweep from low to high. Whoa! Oh, maybe that's a bit too much. By the way, everything that's going into this has got absolutely no reverb on it. So the reverb that you're hearing that is on the thing is actually the actual, uh, it's the springs. <laughs>
lovely jubbly. So yeah, it sounds pretty cool. So yeah, that's the mysterious speaker spring reverb thingamajiggy. It's a pretty good reverb. It does get samey, but that's because it's the same springs every time, so it sort of has the same sound to it. So I've been recording for like half an hour and I've got together a fair few samples and loops which I'm going to be sharing on my Patreon. So if you want that and you can do whatever with it, then uh, be my guest. Go and download it over there. Needless to say, it's going to support the next big push on the Game Boy Mega Machine which is happening this month. And another big machine which is coming just before Christmas, hopefully. Fingers crossed. But yeah, until next time, I've been in my no computer. That's a lot of spring reverb. And yeah, don't be scared to try it. Woo!